Good morning, winners. Look, welcome to Terry's Tips. Get a notebook, get a pen, guys, because I'm going to outline four, four business credit cards, guys, that you can get right now, even if you have bad credit or no credit. Yes, y'all, okay? So these cards are specifically business credit cards for poor credit or bad credit. Guys, you need these if you are struggling, if you have no credit, if you have damaged credit, if you're trying to build business credit and also repair your personal credit, these are going to be game changers for you guys, okay? And let me just say a little nugget right here, okay? Let me give you guys a nugget right here. Some of you guys are like, well, I've had my credit card a year or my credit score is fine. I'm about to give you a gem right now because if you were on my webinar last night, huge shout out. This is So if you're watching this video the day I'm making it, which is December 9th, huge shout out to everybody who was on my business and personal credit webinar last night. I had a special offer for just that group. I'm looking forward to building with you guys. Okay, and I deep dive into this last night. But guys, if you have a 690 or under, they don't consider that to be great credit. So some of you guys are like, oh, I have a 660. Oh, I have a 650. For business credit, that's not good, guys. So with your 650, with your 670 even, that's not great credit. So some of you guys actually have bad credit based on business credit standards. Another nugget here, guys. Some of you guys are like, well, I have a credit card for a year. I've had a credit card for a year and a half. Guys, no. So a lot of times if you've had your credit cards for three years and under, I'm giving you some game right now. Three years and under, guys, for business credit, they're like, they don't, they have insufficient revolving history. They have a thin credit file. They have no credit. So remember, for businesses, some of the criteria is different because all of the limits are higher. The amounts are more. The terms are better. The interest rates are lower. So some of you are like, oh, my credit is fine. And you're trying to get business credit stuff and you're being denied, not understanding why. And it's because you're your personal credit profiles are not that great based on business credit standards. So you probably want to watch this video, okay? And if you are new, welcome. Guys, my name is Terry. I'm a self-employed entrepreneur, a mother, a YouTuber, an investor, but more importantly, personal and business credit guru. I would love for you to subscribe, be part of our community. You guys, I upload brand new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and I'll do my nugget at the end. So guys, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to outline some of the criteria you need to qualify. I'm going to tell you how to leverage it, how you actually use it to help you build. And then I'm going to give you the actual cards. And guys, I will go back in the, uh, the description of this video and I will add the links for the cards because that way you guys can compare annual rate, you know, interest fee, um, interest, um, the fees and all those kinds of things. Okay, guys. So first, you know, if you have no credit, you have damaged credit, like anything under a 690, guys, is like considered like a little bit of bad credit, okay? You want to do the fundability piece. Write this down. Even if you're a brand new business owner, a brand new entrepreneur, a brand new investor, even if you don't have your business up and running yet, but you're trying to build right now, at least do the fundability piece and the credibility piece. So that is incorporating your EIN, your business bank account, your DUNS, having a website, having a phone number, having a professional email. Guys, literally you can do all those things in one day. I have a video. I will link it. This says how to set up your business correctly in 10 days. And in the description, guys, I list all the individual companies that can help you get some of those things like the phone number and the website for low cost. Literally, guys, you can have your business look fundable and credible on paper for like 25, 50, something like that dollars a month. And then what do you do? You get one of these credit cards that you can pay those fees, put those fees on there. Come on, somebody. And now the business credit is funding the business. You're getting usage and that's going to help these credit cards graduate to higher amounts. A nugget here, guys, the four cards I'm outlining, one of the reasons why I'm outlining is because they're revolving trade lines. Remember this, guys, because many of you want the business lines of credit. Business lines of credit are unsecured, revolving. Business credit cards are unsecured and revolving, but they're easier to get than the lines of credit. This is strategy, guys. If you have not been able to qualify for the business lines of credit that you want at all or the amount that you want, start at getting the business credit cards, having them report, using them some, and then you're going for the business lines of credit, business loans, business mortgages, business auto loans, equipment financing. Come on, somebody. The, the possibilities are endless, guys. And remember, a business 
is literally almost anything that you're doing for money, right? It could be big, it could be small, it could be something that, you know, you're employed full time or it could be your side hustle. Anything, product or service that, that you have the intention of making business, um, making income is considered a business. Remember that. Okay, guys, so you, you are incorporated, you do the fundability piece, and then you go ahead and you apply for these items, right? You apply for these cards, and mind you, you're, you're putting your, like, your, um, your industry in, you're putting how long you've been incorporated, and then the actual uh, requirements for each card is going to be a little bit different. Some of them have annual fees, some don't. Some have high interest rates, some don't. Guys, it's going to depend on how bad, how bad your personal credit is, or how much do you have, like, no, do you really have no credit? Credit at all or do you have no credit based on the business credit standards now guys another nugget right here right I'm giving you four cards pay attention to that number I'm doing that for a reason if you listen to my videos about really scaling your business credit your overall goal is to have 15 10 5 15 trade lines reported for your business, okay? So this would be four. Mind you, you may only need to get one or two just to help you transition, but I'm giving you options, guys. Write that down. Your goal is to have at least 15 trade lines being reported for your business. Another goal is to eventually have at least one trade line that has a limit of 10,000 and above. I'm outlining these four cards, guys, because they actually can, can um, go up to $10,000 when you start paying them and using them on time, okay? Now, another criteria, another real quick criteria I want you guys to know. When you guys are reaching out to me and my team to get you guys funding, to help you guys get on business credit cards, a lot of times you'll hear me say, we can double or quadruple your credit limits. Let me tell you what I mean. You guys need to know this, okay? So if you have personal credit cards that are $5,000, $10,000 limits, that means when you come to a funding team or when you're building business credit, we can usually get you business credit cards that are you know, 0% interest for 6 to 18 months and that are double or quadruple that amount. If you have a $5,000 personal card, we can get you a $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 business credit card. You following me? So the basic criteria though, we can't multiply anything. Like the business credit lenders, they don't even kind of even like consider your card at all unless you meet this criteria. Understand this guys. They want your all of your credit cards to be open for two years or more. Two years or more, okay? Have a credit limit of at least $2,000 or more. 2,000 or more. They want it to also have no late payments and your utilization on that specific card to be 30% or under. Write that criteria down. Get your credit report. Look at your revolving trade lines. See if any of your cards match that criteria. If so, when you have a business, we may be able to help you. If not, what are you going to do? Guys, make it an action item. You know, I'm very much about giving you guys actionable steps. That's why you all, my tribe, my Terry Sips people always have results. I don't give you theory. I give you actual action steps. Guys, look at all your open credit cards. Call them. Don't do it online, guys. A lot of times when you do credit limit increases online, it will automatically be a hard inquiry. What I want you to do is if you have a card that's $500, $300, $1,000, $1,500, your goal is to get that credit limit to $2,000 or above. All of your personal credit cards have a credit limit of at least $2,000 or above. Call them. Do one Monday, one Tuesday, one Wednesday, one Thursday, right? Call them and just say, hey, I've had this credit card for a year and a half. I've had no late payments. You know, I have low utilization. I want to know if I'm eligible for a credit limit increase only if it's a soft inquiry. Got it, guys? So if they say, yes, it's a soft inquiry, you go for it. If they say, no, it's not then don't. It's not worth it for you yet, right? Like, don't waste that hard inquiry for just that item. Guys, I have people that have five, six, eight cards, and maybe two or three of them do that. But then that two or three that are actually increased, help them get business credit. Help them get business lines of credit. Strategy, help them transition. We were able to multiply them. You don't need them all. It also, to be honest with you guys, help your personal credit scores because now your limits are higher, which makes your utilization, your balances be lower, which makes your score go higher. Come on, somebody. Okay, so there's strategy to all of this, okay? So go through and make sure all of your cards at least have $2,000 limits or above. Got it, y'all? And the cards that I want to tell you guys, so I have four of them. Number one is Capital One Sparks card. Bad credit, no credit. Capital One Sparks business card, revolving trade line. The second one is Discover It. I wrote them down so I don't forget. 
Discover it. You've heard me talk about some of these before too. Discover it. Bad credit, no credit, business credit card. Okay, guys. The next one is um Open Sky Secured Visa, and then also First Progress. Now, nugget here. You guys hear me always talk about having multiple data points, having a relationship. Some of you guys have credit builder accounts, or you have these cards on personal. You have a personal Capital One. You have a personal Discover. You have a personal Open Sky. You have a personal First Progress. I'm about to free somebody. Guys, call them up and say, hey, I have a personal credit card with you. I also have a business. I want to know if I qualify or what I can do to get a business trade line. Guys, literally because you have a data point with them already, because you have a relationship with them already, a lot of times that that will actually qualify you right there. They'll be much easier just to transition you. And sometimes they can even do it as a soft inquiry. So guys, when you're going for these business items, see if you already have the personal and leverage. Come on, somebody leverage that relationship and then the very next thing always is go to nav nav.com to monitor your business credit reports guys because half of it step number one is doing the work step number two is making sure it's translated to your credit report so your business credit scores can increase got it got it good guys so let's recap i outlined four business credit cards for no credit for bad credit i talked about doing the fundability and credibility piece i talked about how it helped you transition i gave you the criteria for your personal credit cards i told you how many trade lines that have 15 and then i outlined the actual cards for you and gave you a nugget about getting your credit limit increases and also leveraging the relationship got it y'all Guys, and for my nugget, I talk all the time about multiple streams of income. You know that this channel is about wealth building, about the six and seven figures. What I'm finding is that some of you guys are like, well, I don't want to be a coach. I don't want to have a podcast. I'm not an influencer. Guys, you're not doing what everybody else is doing. Everybody's gift is different. I like to talk. Can you tell? Right? So I love doing YouTube videos and podcasts and workshops and coaching because that's my gift. Guys, um, for my Credit Levers Lifestyle people, I'm about to put an article in the um, group right now and I'm telling you guys about it. Where there's a gentleman, right, who's making now $9,000 a month just doing a dog sitting. He likes dogs. So he made it his side hustle and now he retired himself from his job. Guys, do, I want you to ask yourself, what knowledge, skills, and experience do you have that can earn some extra money? I want you to set a goal. Can you get your side hustle? Can you get that gift, that thing you love to do, whatever that skill is? Can you get it to where it's making you $500 to $1,000 a month? Real talk, guys. Okay, $500 to $1,000 a month. And think about it. If you have, you know, um, a goal of getting $1,000 a month and your product or service, let's say you do lashes, let's say you do makeup, let's say you dog sit, cow sit, house sit, babysit, you know, let's say that you um, have a mobile car wash, right? And guys, I know, like I've had my makeup done before where I have a makeup artist that like came to my house for like photo, um, photo shoots and I was paying her like $200, $300. So guys, that's like make it a business. If your goal is an extra $1,000 a month, right? And your service costs a $100, well, how many people do you need to hit your goal? Guys, work it like an equation. Work it like a business. What is your goal? What is your knowledge, skills, and experience? How much does that thing cost? And then how many clients, services, how many products, how many of that thing do you need to do to get to your goal? And then just execute. Got it, got it, good guys. All right, so I hope that, that was super helpful for you. Have an amazing day on purpose. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you soon.